What's up, YouTube? Salvo G here, and today we have a new gr duo, I should say, to the channel. Thanks to Michael over on Patreon. Thank you to Michael for the support to the channel. I greatly appreciate it, Michael. What have you given us? Well, you've given us Wendy and Lisa. And Michael did mention it, but I'll go over it a little bit more here. Wendy and Lisa, they began working with Prince in the early 1980s and were part of, and were part of his band, The Revolution, before branching out on their own and releasing their eponymous debut studio album in 1987. In recent years, they have turned their attention to writing music for film and television and have won an Emmy Award. They have released five studio albums, with their most recent album being 2008's White Flags of Winter Chimneys. And they are all about funk, pop, and rock. All right, as far as their album is concerned, it was released in 1987. Five of the 11 tracks on the album were co-written by Bobby Z, Wendy and Lisa's former colleague from Revolution, who was also who also co-produced the album with the duo. The album released in the United States in August of 20 August 24th of 87 peaked at number 88 in the U.S. and number 84 in the U.K. The U.K. and European releases release feature different cover artwork to the u.s release the album contains several singles including honeymoon express and waterfall which was re-released two years later as waterfall 89 in the u.s the only single to hit the billboard hot 100 was waterfall which peaked at number 56 in 1987. upon release columnist pan european magazine music and media highlighted sideshow stay and instrumental white and made a conclusion that despite album compositions remain heavily influenced by Prince but album proves this album proves that not only can they stand on their own two feet but also show how important they were to Prince's revolution all right let's get into the song we're listening to waterfall waterfall was the song that peaked at 56 right here okay here we go Stay. 
smooth on the guitar. I'm gonna catch that last riff again. thing that sticks out to me are the elements involved you know we got a little bit of pop a little bit of rock a little bit of funk and it's very it has a very lush soundscape to it with the the synths and the guitars layered in there it creates a very immersive landscape kind of dreamy actually so yeah you know i'm all about this atmosphere definitely has that sound of that sort of soundscape that i i really can get immersed into with the sort of uh, dreamy sound that's going on, especially with the echoes and the reverbs that they uh, they have going here, that adds to that whole immersiveness of that type of landscape and sound that I'm describing. Uh, the melody is very catchy. The harmonies are beautiful. I really like the riffs in this one. I think that adds to the whole like um, that what I just touched on. The the riffs were very melodic and structured, and they weren't like. Um, they weren't like uh what's the word i'm looking for they were just very structured you know so they so they add to that feeling of being in that pocket where you just you get immersed and it's just like almost a trance like that's what this kind of song is doing for me i was very hooked because of all of the the um the melodies and the the harmony plus the echoes reverbs you get this really nice riff to go along with it and you create this soundscape where you're just locked in that's what i'm I'm hearing here I'm just locked in they have that sort of sound going for them so it really makes me interested to see what the rest of this album sounds like if they kind of um lean into that sort of feeling and sound or if it's more rock maybe we get some really exciting pop stuff you guys can let me know down in the comments but yeah I think she's really impressive on the guitar kind of looks effortless for her so that's why I'm so interested you have um a really effective riff here so yeah this uh pretty interesting duo actually i would like to know what you guys think about this song and also what your favorite song from the album is but anyways that's it for me in this one thank you for watching guys catch you in the next one peace